Welcome back everyone to Learning Petition. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to be solving problem 1711, okay? So it says, the assembly is made out of the slender rods that have a mass per unit length of 3 kilograms per meter. Determine the mass moment of inertia of the assembly about an axis perpendicular to the page and passing through point O. Okay, so basically what we're giving here is this overall assembly. We have two rods, the one on the left and the one to the right. And we want to determine the moment mass of inertia, the mass moment of inertia about this point O in here. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just basically I'm going to state my givens, which in this case is the mass per unit length is equal to 3 kilograms per meter. Okay, so and this is for each of these rods. The second thing I want to say is we are in chapter 17. So we're going to utilize our chapter 17 equations. And in this case, the one that I'm going to utilize is 17.4. And where we have that the moment uh, of inertia is going to be equal to our moment of inertia around my center of gravity plus the mass times the distance squared. Okay, so one thing I want to mention is that in order to solve this problem, I'm going to separate this into my rod one. So I'm going to have rod number one and rod number two. And if we want to know the moment of inertia, the mass moment of inertia around my point O, all I have to do is that I'm have to sum both of these moments of inertia. Okay, so this is basically the final equation we will be utilizing. So let's just start by trying to find the moment of inertia of my rod number one. And the First thing that we need to know is that, hey, this moment of inertia around my center of gravity for a slender rod, there is an equation in the back of the book. And the equation for a slender rod, if we go to the back of the book, and I will show it just in one second, is going to be equal to 1 over 12 multiplied by the mass multiplied by the length squared, okay? And just here so we come back to the book we are in this table where we are specifying the mass moment of inertia of homogeneous solid and for slender rods we have that is going to be 1 over 12 mass times the length square okay so let's go back to our problem and since we know that we're going to start for our rod 1 is going to be 1 over 12 multiply by the mass and the mass in this case well we need to figure it out with this uh, constant given which is we're going to have then we're going to have 3 multiply by the length and in this case the length of my rod 1 is given by 0 0.4 so 0 0.4 and then we're going to multiply that that was only the mass multiply that by the length squared so again 0 0.4 a square and then if we keep with our equation so let me specify this is the moment of inertia g for the slender rods okay so now we did this one we need to add plus the mass so we're going to have plus our mass again is going to be 3 multiplied by 0 0.4 and let me move this out of this place a little up plus, um, sorry, multiply by the distance. Well, which distance are we talking about? Well, we're talking about distance between the center of gravity in here all the way to our point O. And in this case, it's given by the problem as 0 0.8 meters. So we got 0 0.8 a square, okay? And if we plug this into our calculator, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, it was give, it will, it's gonna give us a value of 0.78 four kilograms times meter square okay so we found our first one we're gonna do the same thing but for our second moment of inertia for our second rod and we're gonna start again with our equation given by the table so we got 1 over 12 so we got 1 over 12 
multiply by its mass well the mass is going to be three times its length and in this case it's 0 0.8 plus 0 0.4 which will give us 1.2 multiply by the length of square so 1.2 again in square plus and then we're jumping from this guy to the second term of our moments of inertia and we're going to have the mass which in this case again is 3 times 1.2 multiply by the distance square okay now what is this distance square so the center of gravity of my rod 2 was is around here and how do i know well basically we have the length from here to here is 1.2 i need to be right in the middle it will be the center of gravity right so since it will be the center of gravity it'll be in the center of this part so it makes sense that from here to here it will be 0 0.6 meter which leaves us that from our point O to here it will be 0 0.2 meters okay so we're going to have 0 0.2 meters and we're going to square if we plug this into our calculator it will give us that our moment of inertia mass moment of inertia for rod 2 is going to be equal to 0 0.576 kilograms times meters square and at the end we're going to do that our mass moment of inertia around my point O is going to be the addition of these two guys so of this and this guy and when we plug that into our calculator it will yield 1.3 1.36 and the units will be the same kilogram times meter and square and just like that we just found out our answer for this problem so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one